Hi everyone, I am Kelly Schaffner and I have a mystery box that I am cutting open right before your eyes right now. Guess what it is? <laughs> I'm sure you guessed correctly. I have a box of shoes. This is eight pairs of shoes. It is a mystery to me. I'm not sure what's inside this box, but I wanted to share it with you. Here it is. Can you see? I'm so glad that you joined me today for this mystery box. It's a mystery box of shoes, but I have something on top that does not appear to be shoes, so that's a fun little bonus. If you are new to my channel, I'm an online reseller of women's pre-loved shoes and clothing, and I love selling shoes. I purchased this box from another YouTube creator and a Poshmark and eBay seller, but he has a YouTube channel called The Teen Reseller. I love his channel, guys, and I learn a lot from Keegan because he really has an eye for the premium and high-end brands. Now, I was watching one of his thrift hauls and he did mention that he loves to source shoes and he does not like to sell shoes. And so I reached out to him and I said, you want to sell me some of those shoes? And he said, absolutely. I paid $55 plus shipping for this box of shoes. There should be eight pairs of shoes, which brings my average cost per piece just over $8. Truthfully, guys, that's about the going rate at my thrift stores for shoes, sometimes even higher. I don't shop regular price. I am normally thrifting when I can get a discount, but this box came from the teen reseller. Guys, he is a high school student with a successful reselling business. He's an athlete and he has a wealth of knowledge concerning premium high-end brands. And I really feel good about supporting his mission of buying his first vehicle and putting himself through college. I have a mad respect for that kind of determination. I'm not going to make you wait any longer. He did enclose a note here and I'm going to read this note. He says on the envelope, Kelly, hopefully you can read my writing. Okay, I'm going to read this. He says, hi Kelly, thanks so much for purchasing a mystery box of shoes. I hope you enjoy selling and listing the shoes I sold for you. I enclosed a few pairs of shoes that m need more cleaning than I thought. So I threw in a few other things. I tried so hard to find a red pair of shoes. So if you follow my channel, you know that I think red shoes are just uh, dopamine, guys. They are an endorphin, and I love wearing red shoes. I think everyone should have a pair, but he said he couldn't find a pair, so he threw in something else. He can't wait to see me unbox this box, and he would like to do a box swap soon. So I would love to do a box swap with Keegan, but I'm going to have to make it to the bins because this kid is a great sorcerer, and that would be a really tough competition. Let's see what Keegan sent. First off, he sent something that is not shoes. So I'm going to put the box down and let's see what he sent that is not shoes. It is in the color brick red, and this is a pair of, these feel like cotton, kind of a wide leg, or maybe a tapered leg pants, and they do have an embroidery detail down the side seam. These are really nice. They are a pull-on elastic waist, and they appear to be plus size. They are. They're a size 3X by one of my favorite brands to sell. I don't know if I will be able to share that with you, but it, this is Soft Surroundings. These are in wonderful shape. Really, really nice. And of course, they are in one of my favorite colors. Yeah, if you can't find red shoes, then wear red pants. Oh my gosh, I see something that looks like fun right on top. Lily Pulitzer. Lily Pulitzer and Estee Lauder. There you can see the Estee Lauder. Uh, so yeah, a little makeup pouch. This is a fun little freebie. Thank you so much, Keegan. Now let's get into the shoes. I can see this is what I'm looking at on the bottom. If you are familiar, you know right away these are fry shoes. These are nice. Okay, immediately these are a really nice pebbled leather slip-on sneaker by the brand Fry, which I am really happy about. I just need to check to see if these are my size, and I can't tell. 
Oh, they are, they're a size eight. Yay, okay, so I'm assuming that Keegan does not like to clean shoes, and a lot of people don't like to clean shoes. I don't mind it at all, guys. I kind of find it to be therapeutic. I don't mind it at all. I can often be found cleaning shoes and watching television in the evening with my husband. So yeah, just a magic eraser and a quick wipe down on these, and they will be ready to either wear or sell. I may try these for myself. The next pair I see is a brand I love to sell, especially when I can find kind of an unusual style. And you can see these do have a little sparkle to them. This is the brand Dance Co. Let me see it right there, Dance Co. And the size is normally on the bottom. They're size 39, which is also my size. I have never tried dance co shoes i think of dance co shoes as being for the medical profession although i think anyone that works on their feet would probably enjoy dance co's these are in marvelous condition so i'm happy about those these look fun so i have to pull them out i can see on the bottom they are leather sold so that is good and look at all of that embroidery on these pumps sam edelman pumps let's see i can see that these are a size seven and a half guys but i cannot tell you the style name i will write the style name right here on the screen but these are just they're not just a classic these are really a remarkable pump now let's check the heels because that's what i look at is heel wear and the heels look pretty good. And also on pumps like this, I check the toe wear. There is a little bit of scuffing on the toes and I'm going to try to just clean those up and get all the dust off them. But these are definitely sellable and I'm excited to add this colorful shoe to my Poshmark closet. This is a brand I have very little experience with. You can see right there, Air. These are Nike Air. They are a platform slide. This is a leather upper and a nice chunky platform or platform almost slip-on mule. I don't know much about Nike, but they do have the style name on the inside, so I will be able to look up the details. Let me see if I can see the size. I cannot. They are a size seven and a half. These look very comfortable. They are light in weight. Uh, these do need some cleaning, but they'll clean up very easily. Oh, these are cool. These are Spring Step L'Artiste. Let me share that with you. I have not sold this brand, so it will be fun to sell these. I love this, this patchwork leather heeled oxford look at that little leather wrap on this stacked heel these look really comfortable i love this style as well okay and these are in marvelous condition let's check the size on these are these a style i need to try these are the bardot and they are a size 39. yeah really really funky fun shoes excited to try those out there are so many shoes in here guys next up a keen i was gonna say these were crocs this is a pair of keens i have never seen this style before so they look almost like a uh like a flip-flop but they do have this toe cap the rubber toe cap on them very interesting this is a brand that does very well for me and these are a size 38 or us size seven and a half in perfect condition i could get these listed as soon as i'm finished so next up another pair of fries oh my gosh okay these are a kind of peach color leather slip-on fry very very nice they do need a little cleaning on the bottom you know what i do i just spray a little goo gone on the bottom and wipe these bottoms down and they look good as new if the leather needs a little cleaning i use saddle soap on leather like this and it cleans them right up i like these as well and they are a size seven and a half so many of these are just like a half size too small for me um oh my gosh i think these are uggs it's very worn these have been these are well loved but they're still in really good condition you know i mean uggs is a well-made shoe so the soles look excellent very little wear on the soles but i can tell that they have been well loved because the footbed 
has darkened similar to like um, Birkenstock because these are leather footbeds and these do have the shearling on the inside. Oh, there it is. There it says, Ugg right there. Okay, very, very nice. I'm guessing these are about a seven and a half. I'm not gonna make you guys watch me. Vionics. Oh, a pair of Vionic slip-on sneakers. These are a size seven and a half. They're in marvelous condition. They look like this. Soles look great on them, just like that. Wow, okay. Love these. This is one of my favorite brands to resell. They do really, really well on the resale market, so I'm happy about that. I have two more pairs, guys. Next up is kind of a booty shooty, I've heard people call these. These are Jack Rogers. Okay, wow, they're in great condition, too. Um, so they look like this. And they do have that infamous Jack Rogers whip stitching around them. They're kind of a lighter color, brown leather, almost a camel color. And they do have the zip closure on the side. If I see the size, there is the size. These are a size seven and a half. They're in really, really nice condition. So yeah, I love Jack Rogers. You got these. Okay, don't mess with me here, Keegan. Do not mess with me. Fit flops, in box, size eight, which is my size, wrapped. No, Keegan, oh my gosh. These are brand new. These are brand new in my size. And I see how much you paid for them. Can you see that? Five dollars. That is a great cost of goods. These are so incredibly cute. I did notice on the box, these are the twine black. They are leather, of course. They're size 39 and they do have a toe post, which is this little uh, piece of leather that goes between your toes. That bothers me, but I might try these around the house and see. These are so comfortable. They also resell really, really well. And of course, if you've got the box, it does bring up the resale value. This was a great box. Thank you so much, Keegan, for putting so much thought into a box of shoes for me. I couldn't be happier. This is a great box of shoes. Every single pair that he sent, I would have sourced for myself at such a great cost of goods. Shall I count? I received 12 items in this box and I could not be happier about that. I paid for eight. So Keegan did bless me with some extras and I really appreciate that. It brings down my cost of goods and enables me to make a little bit more profit. I may keep some shoes for myself. <laughs> I will be trying on shoes, guys. I Everything will be listed in my Poshmark closet if you are curious how I price items and I'll have all the names of the shoes and everything once they are listed. So you can check out my Poshmark closet. It is linked below as well as all of Keegan's socials, guys. Please check out his YouTube channel. Subscribe. Show him some love. He really has a lot of useful information to share and he's just a joy to to watch as well. I want to thank you, Keegan, for sending me a, such a fun box. You know that shoes really excite me and I'm excited to get all of these listed. Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. I, I love this box and I am so happy to share it with you. If you want to get a box for yourself, please reach out to Keegan. All of his socials are in the description below so you can get in touch with Keegan and work out a deal with him, I think. I don't know. I'm just guessing that he still likes to source shoes and doesn't like to sell them. That's okay. I'll sell them for him. Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon with a haul from my niece's wedding. You know I went to that wedding and hit a thrift store so I'm going to share all of that in the very next video. Blessings.